Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. In this video, I wanted to practice some draping. So I wanted to use some different colors. I have some black drapes and some pink. They're more of a rose pink. And then I wanna maybe add some silver into there. So I wanna practice my draping and bring you guys along with me. So if you like these designs, you could also use these for your clients or for your event, all right? So most of this video is gonna be in time lapse. I'm gonna come back on at the end of this video so we can start talking about some pricing because I always get questions from you guys on how much do these backdrops cost, all right? So, let's get started. When it comes to my backdrops, I create a quote based on two things. So the first thing is the materials, okay? So what materials and supplies am I gonna need to create this backdrop? And then the second thing is labor. So with labor, I include setup, I include delivery, I include if I have to hire somebody else to help me, and then I also include cleanup and takedown, okay? So now you can see the backdrop and I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna price for this, all right? So first, let's start with the materials. 
For this backdrop, you're going to need a backdrop stand, right? So I rent my backdrop stand for $100. Then you're going to need that white curtain that's in the back, okay? That white curtain is 20 feet wide by 10 feet high, okay? And I rent that for $50. Next, let's talk about the draping, right? All of the draping that's in the front of this backdrop. So there's six black curtains. They're black polyester curtains. They're five feet wide by 10 feet tall. So there's six of those. And I rent those for $15 each, okay? And then I also used six of the rose pink drapes. They're the same drapes as the black ones. It's just a different color, okay? So I rent those at $15 each. And then I also use four of the silver sequin drapes. And I rent them at $5 each, okay? All right, so those were my drapes, okay? But make sure that you don't forget to include the materials and supplies that you need to tie the drapes, okay? So for this backdrop, I just use some rhinestone ribbon and then fishing line and some safety pins, okay? So you wanna make sure that you include that in the price for your materials, okay? So I'll just add $25 for those materials. Now, if we add up everything that I just said, all the materials come to $375. And that's just the materials, and that's at the rental price, okay? So my rental price is 50% of the total cost. So when you're purchasing something, right, it's gonna be much more than that. But for me, I charge the client rental prices because I make money when I rent it over and over and over again, right? So the client is really getting a deal by coming to you rather than purchasing all those materials themselves, okay? Next, let's talk about labor. So what you wanna do when you're creating a quote for a backdrop is you wanna figure out how much time is it gonna take you to set up the backdrop, all right? So for something like this, this will take me about an hour. So I'm gonna charge the client an hour at my hourly rate, okay? And that's gonna be for setup. And then I have to go back and clean it up, right? So I'm gonna charge the client for another hour for me to drive back to their event and clean it up. So I would charge the client $75 to set it up and then $75 to go back and clean it up, right? Because my hourly rate is $75. And then also I would charge for delivery. So for delivery, it really depends on where the venue is at. I normally start my delivery fee at about $40 if it's close to me, and sometimes it goes up to 100, okay? I normally don't have to rent U-Hauls for these type of backdrops. I can just use my car, but still, even though I'm using my car, I do charge a delivery fee. And for me, I really have to pay attention to where the venue is at, because if I have to go into the city, if I have to go into DC, that means that I'll have to pay for parking, so I need to make sure I'm including that in my delivery fee, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to the location, if you have to pay for parking, if you have to pay for tolls, anything that you have to pay for, you need to incorporate that into that delivery fee, okay? So for this backdrop, the labor would be $200 at a minimum. All right, so in total, this backdrop would be a minimum of $575, okay? And as you guys seen, I just went through exactly how I would come up with a quote, okay, for this backdrop. It would be a minimum of $575. So if you have a client who is coming to you and asking you for this backdrop for $200 or $300, you know that that's unrealistic. <laughs> now you know that that's completely unrealistic, right? Because I just broke down my pricing for you and I don't think that my pricing was unreasonable, right? I don't think that my pricing was sky high. So now you know. And I would encourage you to go through this same process 
when you're creating quotes for clients, okay? If you do not have an inventory management system that will help you create quotes, I highly encourage you to try my inventory management system that I use. Now that I'm on this inventory management system and I know exactly what inventory I have and I can assign prices to that inventory, whenever I'm building a quote for a client, I just go into my inventory system and say, what do I need, right? And then I just go in and select all of the materials that I need to create the backdrop that the client wants. And before I had this inventory management system, I was pretty much guessing when it came to quotes. I was just like, okay, yeah, this is $200, this is $300. But now that I have that insight as to these are the exact materials that I need to build my backdrop, I can see my material cost, right? I know exactly how much the materials are gonna cost, and then I just add the labor to it. So it's very straightforward, and my client can see exactly what I'm charging them for, all right? So I would highly encourage you to sign up for the free demo of my inventory management system. It's called Good Shuffle Pro, and I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video, okay? Sign up for the demo. I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. This inventory management system has helped my business in so many ways, guys. Sign up for the free demo, all right? So I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.